Hey guys, how you doing? Mark from www.markweddinghq.com. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video update uh, in regards to the power of focus and why it's so important uh, to have focus. And it, in this day and age, I'm sure it's it's real simple to have that focus stolen. In, in regards to relationships, in regards to people, places, things. I mean, because there's so much stuff out there nowadays that is wanting to get our attention and wanting us, you know, just, just, just constant bombardment of information. But what I come to find out, as with anything, the only way that you will ever get better at whatever, whatever it is that you're trying to get better at in your life is through focusing on that on that skill or ability or or task that you're trying to get uh, better at is by consistently focusing on that, and that's why for myself there's certain things that I do on a day to day basis in order to improve the results on certain skills that I may uh, want to be bettering myself in, and what for me personally. Uh, that's why I've been trying different um, avenues of marketing in regards to becoming better at those things. So the first thing I had to do was to find somebody that already had that skill set and learn from them and then start taking that information and then applying it on a day-to-day -day basis in regards to different things of what I do uh, for my life in, in regards to my business. So, you know, and those th there's only three forms of marketing that I really focus on, and that is voice broadcasting, uh, blogging, uh, video marketing, uh, sorry, four, and uh, social media. Those platforms, and the reason why is because I like doing those activities. I like, and because one of the, one of the big things is, one, the blog, of course, the reason why I like that is because it was a, a, a platform that I could use that would allow me to give those who wanted to come in contact with me a platform of every everything about me and what I do and the different things that I bring to the table that, that may find value for them in regards to what they're doing and in regards to helping them with maybe needs or goals that they have in their life. Um, that's why I wanted to start to per perfect the ability of blogging. And blogging is a long-term activity. You know, don't kid yourself in thinking, ah, I'll throw up a few posts and wow, my blog is going to just explode. No, blogging is a long-term strategy. Video marketing, very, very powerful. Because it, gets, it allows you to get personable with people, allows people to see you, allows people to, to get to know you, know, like, and trust through video before they actually want to start engaging with you in regards to what you do for your business, uh, as far as making friends, whatever the case may be. You know, because one of the first things, too, with video is you've got to get, out, get over the fear. And thinking, I got nothing to say. There ain't nobody gonna listen to me. Well, guess what? All of the greats thought the same thing, but they made a decision inside of themselves. You know what? I'm doing this. And through time, their message got better and better, and they got the the, the skill set was increased in such a way where it started to resonate with other people and start to draw those people's attention where it started to spark up them to want to listen to what they had to say. And with the biggest thing with, with focus too is being consistent. Whatever it is that you're choosing to do, just be consistent at it. And that can be, you know, what I learned, it was funny, when I how I really learned the, the ability of being focused was I looked at some of the things in my life that I wanted to change. And I, it helped me to understand if, okay, if I can focus on all of this, this bad stuff and it's bringing me nothing but bad results, if I took that and focused those energies into something good and productive, what could happen? The promise 
is what I started to chase. The promise of what could happen if I did these things and implemented these things on a daily basis. I know my mentors, that's one of the biggest things that they constantly uh, reassured me is being consistent in activities in a day-to-day -day basis that will start to get you in the rhythm of doing those things on a regular basis. Uh, of course, social media. I mean, you've got Facebook, you've got, <coughs> you've got uh, LinkedIn, and you've got MySpace. And what I did, of course, I went and got the information that was necessary in order to learn really how to market and so forth on Facebook. And who I was actually introduced to was a man named by Max Steingart. He is like the father of social media. And what I was able to learn there is really the way to really engage and talk with people on Facebook because the reality is not everybody wants what you got. That's a reality. And not everybody, and you not only that, you may not want what they have in regards to if you were trying to talk to someone in regards to bringing them into your business or the services that you may provide be providing. They may not want what you got. And you may not want what they got once you start to get to know them. Because that's the great thing about working for yourself is the fact that you can really pick and choose. And through Max Steingart's course, I was able to really start to understand and learn how to really use Facebook as a tool to interact with people, not as a, a billboard for my business. And that really helped me to now know how to really engage people and talking with them and so forth and getting to know people better. And it really helped with my people skills. And I've even taken that information off off online and taking it all offline with, with what I do every day was just interacting with people. So that course really, really helped. Um, and then the, the final thing, um, which is being consistent. Whatever it is that you're choosing to do, I would encourage you. First, what's really going to help you is if it's something you like doing and you're already passionate about it, then do that. And do it to the best of your ability. And just keep plugging away at it. Because here's what I believe. If you have the ability to crawl, then walk, then run, then you have the ability to learn anything that's passionate to you and become a master of it. And then use that skill and that ability to affect the lives of other people. Because that's really what this is all about. Is taking what is in you and putting it out into the world so that it will either do one or two things. It's either going to help or it's going to hurt. I would encourage you that you're, what you're doing is to be doing things that are helping people, not hurting them. Because what I believe is that stuff that you're doing, which is hurting people, sooner or later is going to come back and bite you and cause some major issues for you. So that was their tip for today. The power of focus, where your focus needs to be. And I would encourage you, yet again, focus on your passions, on what you love. Apply those things into what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis and just watch what happens. You will be absolutely amazed of where you'll be 30, 60, 90 days down the road. This is Mark Whitting saying thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure to yet again reach out and be able to touch somebody's life with what I've been able to share today. And God bless. Take care. Bye.